this is a, a look. As an architect, my brain has been racking over these. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Today, I am super excited to bring a requested video to you guys and it's denim. You guys love when I do denim, I love doing denim. So when I got this request, a request from Solatina, I hope I said that right, um, on Instagram, she DM'd me and said that she had seen these shorts worn by Monroe Steele. Once again, another um, thing worn by Monroe Steele. She said she thought that they were made originally originally by Vera Wang. I cannot find them anywhere, but she found a dupe on Walmart, but she was not sure about the fit and how the sizing was going to come out. And I agree that this is one of those things that personally, I don't think I would order um, from anybody because of the how short it possibly could be and the sizing. So yeah, we're going to make them. She asked me if I could figure out or if I could make these. I told her I would try because I like them, I would try to figure it out. And I did, you guys know we did. Let me say this about the jeans. These are the jeans that I have. You guys, I'm gonna give you a range. I'm gonna give you options for how to do this if, you know, no matter what, how big you can get bigger than yourself, and no matter what kind of sewing machine you have, as long as you have a regular domestic sewing machine, anything below that, like a kid sewing machine or a mini sewing machine, you may not, maybe, maybe, not be able to do this, but listen to the options. I try to make sure that we do this for everybody as well as definitely consider doing this even if you don't like short shorts, we're going to adjust them. I'm personally gonna adjust them a little bit um, like this picture here because I prefer the way hers are, the length of hers. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna adjust mine to suit me. You adjust yours to suit you and let's do it. All right, so I have the jeans on that I'm thinking of using. I don't think they need to be this much bigger than you but this is what I have. Like I said, this is not an odd occurrence for me to find jeans this size um, at my thrift store, but um, I probably will have to also do gather these in the front a bit um, because I don't think I'll be able to do the technique only on the side. So this is a good pair for me to use because it'll give you guys a good range of the sizes that you can use for yourself. So if you can only find one that's a little bit bigger than you, then you'll do the method that I'm gonna be doing on the side. But if you find a pair that's much bigger than you, then you can also um, bring it in the front and we'll all see together uh, how this goes. Now, you do want to, when you're looking for jeans that are too big for you, you wanna be um, conscious of the crotch length and so I like to wear my jeans high waist. So as I'm putting these on, I'm kind of cinching them. Um, and these would have been an excellent pair for that project we did that looked like jot furs or riding pants. Uh, but I'm just gonna do them like this and just see, put them where I like to wear my pants, which is right here, right above my belly button. And that crotch does not feel off to me nor does it feel off in the back. I may take these pockets off and move them over because they're going to be kind of pulled over, but we'll see. I don't know. It might not bother me so much, but um, yeah, I think this will give me a nice effect. I think. I've never done this project before. Somebody asked me to do it, so we're going to do it just for you guys. All right, to the table. All right, so we have our jeans laid flat. I am going to go ahead and cut them off as short. This seems to have like a curved edge, so I'm going to go down a ways and then go up on like this little curve situation. I don't know. I don't know. That kind of curve. I am doing this with my sliver of soap and I will fold them so that each side is even. Can you guys hear me? Am I coming in clear? Am I coming in clear? <laughs> All right. That was our movie reference for today. If you know what movie that is, put it in the comments. Woo. All right, so of course this goes in my denim pile. Now, we need to take the waistband off. I know, I know. I hate using my seam ripper. I don't know, do you guys hate using your seam ripper? I hate using my seam ripper, but 
I'm going to take the, the waistband off, not here. I'm not gonna take it off in the front. I'm probably gonna start about right here and start taking it off and it does need to come off all the rest of the way to again in the front. So we're gonna leave these two sides and it'll be taken off with this and probably with this. This is a surgical seam ripper, awesome, right? It's gonna be done in three, two, one. So we did it and the surgical seam ripper worked out until I cut myself. <laughs> so if you've been watching this channel for a while then you know that that's not uncommon it just is what it is but I have on one of those like plastic bandages so I can still keep going but um yeah it was when I was taking these off I was watching TV and doing it at the same time probably not a good combination for that but you know whatever so here we have the waistband is taken off all the way to the front I am going to go put it on myself and see how much I need to take in all right so here it is on me like I said high waist this is uh, a look <laughs> if you see it on the runway think of me <laughs> say blueprint DIY did it first but anyway um, so I have the waistband wrapped around me and um, I'm just gonna add a pin for where you know it fits and then I'll go ahead and take the waistband in and that way once I'm adjusting the pants I'll know um, how much to take it in on this side and then like I said we're gonna have to take these in on the front a little bit just because they are so so much bigger than me okay in order to take the waistband in first I am going to make sure I have this exactly in the middle because I can see that I don't it's further away from this waistband than it is from this one so I'm gonna use this as a frame of reference to make sure you know just to make sure I'm taking it in um, in the middle all right so now when we fold it with the pants together, we should hit that yes. It's pretty well in the center. All right, so in order to take this in, what we're gonna do is where the pins are, we're going to open up the waistband and we're going to, I'll take this seam out as well so that it won't be weird, just right there. And then sew it back later, but we'll open it up, put the pins together, lay it flat and sew it across right here so that once those two are together then we can you know fold them back how they were and we'll have a fitted but I'm not gonna cut it until I try it on again so you know and just in case you forgot to hit that subscribe button go ahead and do that now we have back to back to back summer amazing summer up cycles just for you guys so definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing all right back to the tutorial all right so let's start adjusting first we're gonna cut the sides not all the way down but a little bit because what we want to do is take this piece and kind of tuck it behind there so that's gonna be questionable in my mind but I'm thinking that that's how we can make this work so we're gonna try it this is what we're going for and I'm just gonna top stitch of course the lower I cut it the more I can put it over to the side and if you don't want absolutely any puck around, you can go ahead and cut it all the way to the bottom and just slightly overlap it the whole way. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do because it's not it's not matching up at the top. And I want it to match up at the top, so I'm gonna cut it all the way. We're gonna fully overlap and just match this up at the top. We'll fix that at the end. All right, let's do the other side. All right. Now, we've done that on both sides. Now, we can clip this in between. You guys give me some tips in the comments. How should I do that to make that work? Woo! Oh man, we got a lot going on here, don't we? Uh, let's figure this out. All right, that was quite a lot. I ended up having to do two pleats in the front because it was looking real weird 
for how far I had to pull this back in order for it to fit. So um, definitely I wouldn't necessarily recommend this that much of a difference. So like I said before, I'm going from a 34 to a 48. So um, that's more difference than you probably need to do for these. But if you like how mine turned out, then you can see, you know and adjust accordingly but i did a pleat right here so i took the seam out more all the way to the belt loop or the buttonhole and added a pleat right here and then i tucked one ah shoot um yes i stuck myself um <laughs> another pleat underneath the pocket kind of hiding it there does it make that go out yes i don't mind um and then that's as much as i could do on the front and then the rest i tucked I fold it underneath here and to the back. So that's what we have. All right, so you can see how that is. We haven't decided a final decision on the pockets. I'm gonna leave them for now. But right now we're gonna go with the top stitch and sew the waistband back down. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fire. All right, the next thing after we have the waistband on is we will go ahead and sew down our belt loops. I forgot to tuck the belt loop back underneath here, although I don't know how they do it <laughs> and not sew this piece of the belt loop, but I just cut a piece off of it so it won't be in the way of the belt and I'm just gonna sew them down. They'll look exactly how they were. And lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and top stitch this Hopefully I can get past this little metal piece. That's gonna be touch and go, but top stitch that back down to the side. Like I said, um, you can take some of that flat fell seam away and then go ahead and top stitch it because it is super bulky right now. So I would definitely recommend that if you don't have an industrial sewing machine. But yeah, we're gonna do that and then we'll pretty much be done. All right, here are the shorts. And I love these. So we're just gonna cut the excess off. I could be done, but let's look at the pockets. That's not going to be flattering on my bum. So I need to go ahead and take these off and move them over. I'll use the same method, this and the surgical seam ripper, and then I'll just I move them over, pin them back down, and sew them back down. So here are some tips on if you don't have a industrial sewing machine. Use the highest, the thickest needle you can that your sewing machine will take. Typically, I think it's a 16. I don't think regular sewing machines use a 20, but use the highest you can. If it's a 16 or a 20, use that. Then also on this portion, consider this, um, take this loose and cut off the extra fold. So right now this is five layers. Um, you could possibly just cut you know, the extra layer off of here and off the inside and only have three layers, which means you would have only five layers at the pleat. So um, consider that. And then it would just fray on the edge, just sew it two times, just to make sure your fray doesn't um, make this come off. Like I said, on this part, you can actually cut the flat fill seam open and only make it one layer and then just sew it back down again. That would help as well. And also consider using a walking foot. A walking foot is amazing for stuff like this. So uh, we are going to find out how these turn out. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you up front, these are my favorite denim shorts to date absolute favorite love 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 how they turned out and if you are interested in sharing your upcycles just like i share mine with you if you're interested in sharing yours with a like-minded positive group of people look in the description box below for my facebook group you'll see the link to that all right let's see how it turned out gonna stay in the fight with you just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it each and every high every night with you you and me so clueless Yes, yes, yes. I love, love, love these. And yes, I do have very long legs and a very short torso. Do I accentuate it a lot? Yes, I do. Um, 
I do. <laughs> um, you would think I wouldn't like to wear high-waisted stuff just because my torso is so short, but I do. I don't care. I do it anyway. Love this top. I thrifted it. I'm going to tell you more about it next week in our summer thrift haul. I've been thrifting all around the country, and I'm going to show you guys some very special items and tell you more about that top, and I'm just going to give you a hint. It was super cheap. Okay, can't wait, but that's for next week, so definitely subscribe. But yes, I absolutely love these shorts. They are perfect, like for me, for me, perfect length. All right, wait, don't go yet. Um, It was bothering me that I felt like I didn't completely fulfill the task because although the shorts that I did are perfect for me, they are not the shorts that someone asked me to do. And so, um, as an architect, my brain has been racking over these because I have to figure it out. I have to figure out the construction of them. Um, so my thinking is that in order to create that level of, uh, I guess it's like a ruffle, it's a ruffle short, um, you need curve. And so it, just like the bottom of them were curved, the top band, like this top, would have had to be curved as well. So in order to get that out of an existing pair of jeans, you're going to have to lose some of the pocket and some of the back portion. So you wanna pick some jeans. Um, this is only a size 16, I'm a size eight, just so you know the difference in this one is not as much as the other ones. Um, but I'm gonna try it on these. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. The other thing, the reason I picked these, these are a softer denim. They're a women's pair of jeans. So I'm thinking that they'll accept the ruffle better men's jeans are way stiffer and so you can see the ones that i did before where they did turn out stiffer so um we're gonna try these so i'm gonna go ahead and take off the band and then we're gonna cut a curve from here and we're gonna try to get it as deep as possible because that's what's gonna give us the most amount of ruffles in three two one All right, so after cutting that curve, I still don't feel like it's given what it's supposed to give. <laughs> it's not. Um, so I am going to also add an extra piece in there. So this may be a way you can use jeans that actually fit you versus jeans that are too big. We're gonna see how it turns out. So I'm gonna cut open the side and sew this in on both sides. But the rest will be just like the last the last tutorial. All right, so here are the finished, here's the finished product. I did do both sides because this one was turning out well. Now I will say that I cut the curve on this side, then put the uh, little V or triangle piece in. On this side, I put the triangle piece in, then cut the curve, and I like this side better, so that's just FYI. Um, I tried them on, looked at the picture, marked them about where the picture cuts off. I'm gonna do these just for you guys, um, just like the inspiration. All right, that's that. Let's see how they look. I love these. Definitely let me know if you are going to try these and if you are gonna try them, how would you alter them or if you're gonna alter them to suit your style and your personality. All right, I definitely, you know, I was gonna tell you about the top. This top is from last week's video. It is a wrap top that is reversible and convertible. So like you can wrap it 50 million different ways. And I mean that you can wrap it so many different ways. So. Definitely go check that video out right here, as well as a ton of other videos I have for you just for the summer right here. So click that playlist, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!